what's up yo here in this video I got a couple little uh, house projects not quite so automotive type related a little bit of construction related though this here is one of them but wait before you see that let me show you some pictures of the processes I didn't really record a whole lot but I do have I do have these photographs here of us working along see this here boat was part of the property it was uh, left out here and we decided to make art with it instead of cutting it up and throwing it away see this thing used to be like four feet longer so we chopped that off because it would have looked funny compared to our pond and stuff and we buried the back end of it down so it's sitting on that acrement this the flangulations of the angles and it looks kind of neat and then the whole thing's kind of revolving around I wanted to have a waterfall in the yard I didn't even think about this guy a little fountainy doodad but that's when as it turns out I went to the store and learned on it, it that's pretty standard practice when you want to have a waterfall because the thing comes off of that but anywho and see all we did is we got this pond liner that my parents got out of the trash like 10 years ago and donated to the cause all of these rocks came from one of their properties and from my wood line here I found most of them so we stacked everything up set the boat down on it if you're at the the right angle it looks like she just crashed into the uh, the levees probably was pulled there with a the Chevy <laughs> and the uh, it just looks neat it's like it's run up into the rocks and crashed on the side of the river right like you're floating down the water and whoo, there's a boat all crashed so we dug the hole put this pond in set up a bunch of rocks to make like a waterfall formation which is really hard to do by the way this is like the third or fourth iteration of that see I have a really simple waterfall it gets pumped out of there up through the boat back out the boat and then it releases on top of this rock and we have like one and it releases on top of this rock and we have like one little waterfall onto this rock and then it comes back into the pond I had a couple different styles of waterfall where they had lots of flippy floppy doodads but but I kept washing out the dirt behind my pond and these rocks are pretty heavy so that kept making erosion problems and then the, wa the dirt was washing in the pond was falling forward and all the rocks were falling in it was terrible but this has been like this for a few months now so it looks like it's good now simpler waterfall is easier and then I've got down here in the pond these are some water plants that my parents have had at their place for ever a lot of years they've been in a bucket forever but I got a few clippings from their water plants and stuck them in the corners of the pond you may may be able to see on the camera you might not be able to see but you can look all down in there real good and see the roots you can see all my roots I don't know how well this plant's gonna fare because it seems to grow tall uh, tall guys and I've, I've got my pond situated on top of a hill and it gets a lot of wind and I don't think that plan likes that whole lot this green grassy looking guy doesn't seem to care though see look down in there and see all the new growth coming on from its root ball and then to make more use of the rest of the boat we came back here filled in all of it that I've got buried in the ground so the ground level you know is level in the back of the boat and we started to put plants and stuff back here I have a big giant sago palm over there that had 20 sago palm babies so we've got sago palms decorating the everything now I think I might try to sell some of those the next time it does that but we've also got like these little marigold guys back here and then that's some ground covery stuff that I just pulled out of the yard <laughs> very little money invested <laughs> in my stuff all I had to buy here so far is the uh, pump situation which was about a hundred dollars for the forty dollar pump and then the little nozzle kit guy and then some hose and that was it let's go outside the fence and look at it
here's another one of those Sago bombs. My babies. But yeah, so after like a hundred dollar investment and a, a bunch of time and a bunch of people's trash, look what we did. It's like one of those regular old fancy type houses with the nice stuff out front. Except I didn't pay somebody $1,500 to come in here and do this. Started raking up around it before I brought you guys out to show you. And then that's like the first project I'm going to show you guys about in this here video. The second one is on my porch over there. It's really cold out here right now and I've got this old wood burning stove also from my parents a donation that they've had for like 20 years and I've got it situated on my back porch which took a, a lot of effort because that back porch isn't built very well so I had to get underneath it and you know read the structures and make it where to hold up the stove and yeah it's great anyway now there's a lot more lumber underneath the porch where I have the stove located and I've started like going around the porch and winterizing it a bit if you will you might see through the lattice there, there's some tin on the other side. So I'm doing like a knee wall situation all around the bottom of the porch and it'll stay like that year round. And then up above that, I've got some, uh, some plastic over here that I had left over. And then I, I bought a shower curtain liner from the store over here for like 12 bucks. And then that's, that's sealed in up there, sealed the wind in, and you can still look out and see the view and stuff. The dogs hear me talking. Come on. But this has been a fun wintertime project. I'm going to do the knee wall and the uh, stove will be there full time, and then we'll take the plastic on and off with the winter seasons. But so far this has been a really neat, fun way to, um, one, hang out on the porch all day long and all night if you want to, all year round. And I've supplemented a lot of our propane and electric heating in the house with the old wood burning stove. And my property here came with a big giant couple year old pile of firewood, so it's been fun digging through that, getting all the good pieces out, making use of them in here. Ooh, look over there. See, I made a I made a firewood thing. I'm already getting my own stuff together. But this is what it looks like from the outside. I'll take you inside here in a minute after I clean it. <laughs> You'll probably notice on my exhaust stack up here that I've got an ugly, ugly, scritchy burny mark on the uh, aluminum gutter there. And that's not from this pipe getting so hot that's from I was burning in it for a while and I didn't have enough of this stack here see how it goes up above the roof it didn't do that before I had a I had my little homemade hat right on top of this elbow and that was making the heat just blow right against that <laughs> um, gutter so that's why it looks a little ugly but when I fix that and pss, pss, pss on it real quick it won't it won't go back that way again because the uh, heat's coming out up here now and not right against it so that's neat. But my stack is a bunch of uh, reused pieces for my parents' stuff, and I bought two bendy flexi elbows in there. Over here on this side of the porch, I haven't gotten to finishing my knee wall, and of course I don't have more shower curtain liners, because we ain't made of shower curtain liners. To, uh, you know get it all sealed in where we could start playing with it and having the fire and seeing seeing if it's even worth playing with trying to heat our kitchen and stuff and half the house this way or if it's just silly turns out nope it works really well focus on the puppies focus hi 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 so this is what it looks like on the back porch with all the tin that we've added in the cool old wood burning stove I just told you about. See the stack goes up, pokes through my tin, and out that way where you just saw. This metal here is leftover bits the previous owner had left from some of their tin projects in the yard. I think it might match something on the, the shop out there. When you focus over here 
you see behind the meat knee on the port sign, that red colored metal, those were the cut off chunks from a pole barn we built for a customer. And those brown bits behind it were cut off chunks from the pole barn out there. So it's a bunch of leftover bits and pieces, which is great because tin's really expensive. Behind my new shop lights, I got a really artistic looking spot over here where we just you know what I mean covered it up and it looks it looks all abstract it's art but I got a pattern going on on this side and then we got like the same color metal across the front sort of centralized around the stove and then back in this corner you see I started going back to the other pattern like it is over there see wraps the corner so over here I'm gonna wrap the corner and then come down with the knee wall across that side matching the scheme on the other side looking all coordinated and stuff like we're fancy at some point here I think we're gonna put in some cabinets or shelving or something to make use of all my underneath this big countertop space and it sure would be a good spot for all my pond stuff and gardening stuff Got a lot of gardening stuff since we got into all these plants and fruit trees and things everywhere. See all my sheets all along the fence? Those aren't for the bed right now. Those sheets are for the plants. Got to cover all the fruit trees up when it gets freezing and frosting and whatnot out here. So much maintenance. But anyway, that about wraps up my little video here of some of the cool round around the house projects we've been doing out there in the yard the boat and the, uh, the porch and stuff and this has all been really fun this has been fun because i don't know if i mentioned earlier but i've been supplementing the heating cost in the house with our neat heated porch out here saving us a lot of money on the propanes see all my christmas lights i got about it's it's the season and we have time this year so i got to put lights on everything but anyway, that wraps up this video. I'll see you guys in another video. We got lots of other projects going on. I'm putting Christmas lights on everything. We've got heaps of shop projects. We're getting in the in the middle of my brother's project truck out there. He's about ready to get it on the road and it's in the shop. We're making a video on some ball joints and whatnot, a bunch of work to get it all ready to go. That cop car over there is about to go in the shop right after it because the old lady's Crown Vic's transmission has just started slipping in third gear. So we dumped a little stuff in it, hope for the best, and we're going to start getting that car all back together to either drive it or find out if its transmission is good. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out in the next video. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.